Hey guys, it's Nick here, back with another quick iOS tip that could totally save your day. So, have you ever been out with a friend, wanting to watch a movie together, but you didn't want to blast the sound out loud in public? Or maybe you're like me, sometimes at night, my wife and I want to listen to a podcast or some music, but we can't wake up our daughter who's already fast asleep next door. Yeah, been there, and it's a real struggle. But thankfully, Apple has this super cool feature called audio sharing, and it basically gives us the freedom to enjoy sound together, quietly. All you need is two pairs of AirPods, and I'll show you exactly how to connect both to one iPhone. Alright, let's start from the top. Before you can share audio from the same iPhone or iPad, you'll need to make sure both sets of AirPods are paired to the device. If yours are already connected, skip ahead, you're good. If not, here's what to do. Grab your AirPods case, open the lid near your iPhone, wait for the setup animation to pop up on screen, then follow the on-screen steps to reset your AirPods, this part's important for the connection. Once that's done, tap connected with iCloud and give it a moment. You'll know they're connected when you see the AirPods icon in your control center. Now for the fun part, sharing the audio. Play something on your iPhone, like a song, a podcast, or a video. Then swipe down to open control center and tap the little now playing widget. Next, look for that share audio icon. It's the one that looks like two people standing in a circle. Tap it and your iPhone will start searching for another pair of AirPods nearby. Ask your friend to bring their AirPods or Beats close to your device. If they don't show up right away, just have them open their charging case next to your iPhone. When you see their AirPods appear on screen, tap Share Audio to connect. Sometimes your iPhone might ask you to press and hold the button on the back of the case, or double tap the front of the charging case. That's normal, it just finalizes the pairing. Once both AirPods are connected, you'll each get your own audio controls. Open Control Center again, press and hold the volume slider and you'll see two separate volume bars, one for your AirPods, one for your friends. So you can both adjust sound levels however you like. And if you're using AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, or the new AirPods 4, you can even change the listening mode, noise cancellation, transparency, or just turn them off. Right from the bottom of that same volume screen. Pretty cool, right? Once you've tried it, you'll never want to go back to single listening again. Now you and your partner or your friend can enjoy movies, music, or podcasts together without disturbing anyone around you. So yeah, that's how you connect two AirPods to one iPhone. If you found this helpful, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more iPhone tricks like this. This is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one.